Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use this here in Steam features and settings. So right now, I'm currently inside my Steam application. And by the way guys, if you don't have Steam yet, I have a video on how to install this one, so please check it out. So the first feature I wanna show you is once you're here, go to your store, not the one on the top left section, just this one right here, okay? Even just hovering it without clicking it is good enough. So once you're here, just look for the one that said interactive recommender. And then once you click on it, you're going to have a list of your most recommended custom made recommendations. So on the low on the left is going to be a total of your playtime. The one on the right would be the games you should play. Steam is going to be tailor fitting these recommendations based on your playtime. Of course, you can filter this by popularity of niche, filter by age also. You can also add the type of filters, add the tag occlusions. But I think the very first one would be the best recommended game for you. Second one and this are gonna be the list. Awesome, right? And now let's move on with the next feature or the next tip I'm gonna give you. So go back on store, make sure you go back in the landing page of Steam basically. And once you're here, click on this magnifying glass action just beside your search bar. Do not click the search bar, but click on the magnifying glass. Because if you click on that one right there, you'll end up in here where you can now click on special offers. So once you click on special offers, you're going to see the most awesome offers for you guys. Now without even filtering the price here, you can now have the best offers Tim can offer you. However, if you lower this down up to a specific price or just they basically free, you're going to get the free games for you. As you can see right here, this is actually free basically. Zero peso for my end it will be zero dollars for you and basically it's free now if you increase it a little bit under 200 peso that will be around four dollars it's gonna be this one right here either way they're gonna be the special offer for you guys awesome right and now for the next feature it's not gonna show up right here on my end because i have already removed it but you'll notice this one every time you open steam for the first time in a day or before opening a pc you're gonna get this notification. Actually, it's very tiresome to click that and sometimes it crashes Steam. So the thing to do that is gonna be Steam right there, top left section, go to settings. And then once your settings, look for interface. And at the very bottom, not the one at the very last, okay? But the very bottom notification says, notify me about conditions or changes to my games, new releases and upcoming releases. So you can just simply turn this off and you will not have that news or notification anymore every time you start up steam i'm just gonna put this back on because i actually like it and now building up with the next tip since we already went to settings go back in there again steam and settings now for example every time you open up your steam you don't want to go directly to the store but you want to go to the library simply change your start application right now it's going to be on library or store rather i'm going to go for library right there and now moving forward the next time I open up Steam, it will go straightly to my library. This one right here. All of my games on the left side, all of the featured games on the right side. Pretty awesome actually. Alright, since we're talking about games right now, and you want to hide your games, for example, you want to hide the specific game and the amount of hours you played in a game, simply go on your name right there, click on it right here, and then go to Privacy Settings. Because basically right now, this is going to be my profile, right? If you're not seeing that one and you're seeing this one right here, go to edit profile and you'll arrive in here. Now go to privacy settings and in here you're going to have an option to change your privacy. For example, for game details, you want to make it friends only or private. Same goes with friend list and inventory. Now there are a lot of things to private here. For example, you want to edit your privacy for a screenshot and post comments. You can do so. And always keep my total playtime private even if users can see my private game time. Just simply tick that button right there or box and you'll be good to go regarding your game time. This is especially helpful for any games you want to hide. Now speaking about hiding games, going back on store right here. For example, you have an Xbox or a Steam or any other platform and you have the same game. Let's talk about Spider-Man if any sense or this specific game right here. Just for the sake of the discussion, let's say this specific game, Call of the Wild, is being played on another platform of your own. Now with this one, you can simply click on Ignore, 
or I have a double option right here. So what's the difference? Basically by default, if you ignore this, you won't see the Hunter or Call of the Wild in Steam anymore. But for the second option, if you pl click on play to another platform, you will see or you will tell Steam that I don't want to see this game anywhere in my Steam and it will generate some recommendations. So that being said, you can really save your data. So I strongly suggest if you want to ignore a game, choose this one, played on another platform. So speaking about hiding more games here, there's another way for you. So go to Steam right there, go to settings, go to account details. And once you're here, go to store preference, like so. And at the very bottom part right here, you're going to have an option that says hide items in my library. So basically it's the same thing as earlier. This is just another step or another option for you. Simply click on this option and all of your games or items as we call it will be hidden on your library. By the way, speaking about hiding things, there is a button here that says enable infinite scroll when searching. So right now I have it enabled and what it does is if I go to a store, for example, and I type in let's just say survival, instead of giving me some few results here or instead of giving me some few games here, I now have infinite or not basically infinite, a wider range of choices. Because by default, it only gives you 20, if I'm not mistaken, 20 to 30 at most recommendation games right here. But since I have it enabled that infinite scrolling, I'm going to have so much choices here until I reach basically at the end of the list. But that being said, that's a pretty awesome thing to do so. So speaking about games right here, since this is going to be my storage, again, this is going to be Steam settings and under storage, you can mass uninstall works here. As you can see right here, I only have one file connected on my Steam as of now. So, for example, I have my NBA here, I have my Call of Duty, I can mass uninstall everything, so I don't have to manually uninstall them one by one. That being said, if I have it right here, these are gonna be the sides, or basically, these are gonna be the memory where our, my games are installed. For example, for Ramsta, my SSD, I have my NBA right there, I can basically choose one of two, and basically mass uninstall it. For this one right here, since I don't have any games here anymore, I'm good to go. But basically, this is how you mass uninstall a game. Now since we have talked about uninstalling, talk, let's talk about installing now. So for example, you have a lot of games basically unupdated or um, not updated or uninstalled. And you want to install them by uh, mass install or by, at the same time. So for example, I can just hold my control button Choose one game right there, choose one game right here, and then simply click on right click. And there is going to be an option to say that this is going to be installed at the same time. So install selected for all of those three right there. So the next tip for you guys, if you have a Steam here, basically, and you talk to your friends a lot, and you want to customize their notification. So on the right bottom section right here, choose any friend. Let's just go with this guy right here. And basically click on manage. You can change their nickname or go to notifications. So once you're in notifications, if you uncheck your default notification settings, you can enable that this friend joins a game, you can play a sound. When this friend comes online, you can show notification and play a sound. Basically, you can have all the choices here. Make sure you just unclick that my default notification settings. Awesome, right? And now let's talk about overlay. So I cannot really show you overlay right now because that would need that I want to play a game and I don't want to take much of your time so I have a screenshot here and what to expect so if you enable overlay here for example your game is Stardew Valley you're gonna have an overlay on the left section wherein you can have your choices at the bottom for example you want to click your achievements of the game and you can see them right here you can simply pin them and then you can play it with your notifications and your achievements on the left side that is pretty helpful for example you want to take note of how you progress in the game Take note what's happening, and basically that is a good notification regarding overlay. And now those are the things or tips that I want to give you. And basically there is a lot more tips here to go on. I'm going to make another video about this, so please wait for it, and please keep posted. That being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.